Hi, my name is Chris Tanner, and I'm a mechanical engineer at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Here, I do wind tunnel testing and parachutes for eventual use at Mars. NASA has been traveling to Mars for over 40 years, and with every spacecraft, we send bigger, heavier, and more complex robots. However, the heavier the spacecraft, the more difficult it becomes to slow down once it gets to Mars. And when a spacecraft lands on Mars, it only has seven minutes to decelerate or slow down from 13,000 miles per hour to zero miles per hour. Now, that's really hard to do. Up until now, we used a variety of different systems to decelerate our spacecraft, from airbags to retro rockets to supersonic parachutes. However, we're going to need something bigger and better to eventually land larger robots or humans on Mars. NASA is currently working on new, lightweight decelerator systems to help us slow down more quickly. One component of that is called a Supersonic Inflatable Aerodynamic Decelerator, or SIAD for short. This device inflates around the entry vehicle at high supersonic speeds, about four times the speed of sound, making the vehicle larger, creating more drag, and helping it slow down even quicker. Another component of the system is a larger and higher performance parachute. Now previously, the largest parachute ever flown on Mars measured 71 feet in diameter and was used to land the Curiosity rover in August of 2012. Our new parachute measures 100 feet in diameter, which is about the same size as a big rig truck that you'd see on the road. This new parachute will also fly around Mach 2. Now can you imagine a big rig truck flying at two times the speed of sound? These are the kind of problems that we work on here at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Now your challenge today is to design a decelerator system to slow down your spacecraft. Now there's a lot to take into consideration. In particular, how do you make your decelerator both large to create a lot of drag and also lightweight so it doesn't weigh down your spacecraft? Now start thinking about what special features you want to use on your system. And we can't wait to see what the suggestions you have for our next trip to Mars.